Everyone. Tanner, are you ready? Yes, sir. Tanner, how, how much, uh, you know, how locked in were you today? Just to have uh, 15 up, 15 down. How, how good did you feel just for the very first pitch? Yeah, uh, in the bullpen, felt good. Um, really was working with Bushy and, and just felt really confident going into the game with all, all my pitches. Um, and, and just really the game plan from there was just attack the zone uh, and just go right at the right at the hitters and and get ahead early and and I mean game plan worked out and that's all you know I can really say about it. Tanner, how how difficult is it to come out of a perfect game when you you know you've retired everybody? I I mean at at this point it, for me. It, yeah, obviously, like, it's easy to say, like, uh, it, it was difficult to come out and stuff like that. But for me, I, I'd much rather, like, us get a win. Uh, I'd much rather be team-oriented, especially in, in times like this. So to hand the bat off to, to a guy that actually does it uh, every day, um, you know, it, it is still a little bit hard. But, I mean, for me, like, I'd, I'd much rather this team get a win and, and just continue to go forward. Did you, did you have in your mind a, a sense of how many pitches you could go today? You know, you were on short rest and you've been in the bullpen for a bit. Did, was there a number in your mind you thought you could get to? No, I, for me, I, I was playing out and going out there throwing 100 pitches. I, I'm not scared to do that by any means. It's it's only been about two weeks since I, I made a little uh, transition to the bullpen. Uh, but in that time frame, I was also still doing a little bit of long relief stuff as well. So I was going about 40 pitches, 40, 50 pitches as well. So for me, it, I wasn't nervous about going 100 pitches at all. Like that was that was my game plan to go out there and, and go as long as I can and, and put the team in the best spot to win. Tanner, just in terms of where your stuff was today, uh, was this as good a mix as you've had uh, in any start? Uh, yeah, I, I would definitely say this was the best mix uh, of all my pitches. Uh, really, I had all, all my pitches working today, two-seam, four-seam, slider, splitter. It's not very often that you have that, uh, but to take advantage of the day that I did have it is top of the line. Like that's That's the goal that we shoot for every time that we go out there and pitch is to have our A-plus a stuff. Uh, I had it today and I was able to, to be in the zone and, and force contact, get some swing and misses and and just really propel this team in, into the best spot to win. And that's that's all I was going out there thinking is, all right, you know, shoot for five, six, seven innings, whatever it is. Don't really care about the pitch count and, and just put this team in the best spot to win. It's it's crunch time. One game left of the regular season. And it's it's time to, to keep going and, and not be selfish. And is it uh, is it more nerve wracking kind of watching those last few innings play out than it is when you're actually out there pitching just a, 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 in a game like this? Oh, uh, yeah, I definitely a little bit uh, for me. Like, I, I love being out there and being the guy in those uh, hectic uh, moments more than anything. I, I love it. I, I feel like I thrive in those situations. Uh, but I, I also trust the guys in the bullpen just as much. So to, to hand the ball off to them and, and let them go the rest of the way, I, I had a full faith in them the entire time. Tanner, that second at bat for Soto, um, I guess two things. Can you pitch any better than that? And how much fun was that? How much satisfying was that to, to strike them out there in that spot? Yeah. I, he, obviously there there's a lot of hype there and rightfully so he's an elite hitter and top top of the game especially for being as young as he is uh but for me i i was just really going out there and just saying hey the, this is the game plan and and let's stick to it uh you know obviously getting a, a punch out on a guy that doesn't you know strike out a, a ton uh especially in today's game is is great but I, I didn't treat it or I didn't try and treat it like any you know anything special and I didn't want to treat it too high or too low uh any at bad it, it doesn't matter who you're facing anyone can kind of hurt you at, at, at any point and over 
the last week you've obviously you've pitched in some huge moments. So what do you think that means to you in terms of your development? And are you looking to find out things about yourself in, in these moments? And, and if so, what have you found out? Uh, for me, it's, it's mostly just going out there and pitching and, and just being in the zone and being on the attack and, and, and not falling behind hitters. Um, I have found out a lot about myself throughout the entire year and, and just realizing that, Hey, whenever you're in the zone and you you're going right at these guys, it's uncomfortable for anyone. So, and, and the thing that we keep just talking about is whenever you're in the zone and the hits that you have given up are, aren't crazy hard by any means, but I mean, the hard hits are going to come, but for me, it's just mostly being in the zone and just constantly being on the attack and just not, not giving in, whether there's two outs, one out, two strikes or three balls. I mean, you can come back from, from anything, no matter what circumstance you're in. Yeah, Tanner, how much fun are you ha are you enjoying the intensity of this pennant race that you guys are in right now? Oh, I, I love it. I love the the all the like everything that's happened in the past few days. I mean, it it's one of those things where I, I believe it brings a team together and it, it brings them together even more. So, so I, I've loved, I've loved the, the craziness uh, the past few days and, and just going out there and, and everyone's competing at top of the, you know, top shelf of competing and just going out there and really giving everything they have, no matter what it is. So I've loved it and look forward, look forward to come back tomorrow and, and doing it again. All right. Thanks everybody. Thank you.